In May's run of the Death Cure, the last city was an environment impressive in scale as well as in detail, constructed on top of Cape Town's existing streets and structures. Measuring 2.5 kilometers in diameter, the core consisted of 879 hand-placed and fully dressed low, medium and high-rise digital buildings. Trains, cars and pedestrians, aircraft and advertisements were added to show that it was populated and had a life of its own. We used the entire model to realistically track the glider's journey. This level of detail provided the freedom to construct or augment any setup required, from the lighting and layout of individual offices to parallax when sweeping past a high-rise window. Using a FizzLite toolset, we were able to add lights with camera-specific luminance values in each room, on every floor, in every building. Any ideas? The post-apocalyptic streets included hundreds of layers of trash, electrical wires, laundry lines, wrecked cars, and rubble. The slums that surrounded the city spanned over 25 square kilometers. We made modules of grouped refugee dwellings. These could be duplicated for mid-shots, allowing us to distribute over 100,000 hand-modeled hero shacks throughout the slum environment. Procedural map paintings completed the far background elements. The last city had to be destroyed as well. A majority of buildings and sections of the wall were designed in a destructible fashion, allowing the director to art direct the chaos in the final attack on the city. 